Coming up on this episode, we have the ultimate creep action figure from Creep Show by NECA. This unboxing, discussion, and review here on Crossfire Collective. Stick around. What's up guys, it's Phil from Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's video, the Creep Show Ultimate Creep figure by NECA. So uh waited a little while to get around to this. This was a 2002 grab. Um picked it up. But uh to celebrate the new year, we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. Um as you saw in the opening, uh did a little work on this video. Um Creep Show was one of is actually the first horror movie I ever saw. Uh, it's always had a place in my heart as both a fan and a collector. And um, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. But uh, first, if you are new to the channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, so you have the 40th anniversary, The Creep. Got some side art. Creep Show on the top. Skew on the bottom. More creep show over here. And some movie clips that are made out of the figure. He's in a windowed box. There you have it. So, another movie shot. And then you got the figure and the accessories. So, uh, we'll go ahead and pop him open. I'm doing this in a little. The room is dark. I have one light on that's right here. So, uh, just kind of to get the feel, you know. Woo! But yeah, you trust the dust to Pop it open. Uh, I've always been a creep show collector. So, you know, back in the day before they even thought of making figures of any type, I knew there were some that came out before NECA did them. But um, down here, as you can see, I have the shutter. As you can see, I have the shutter. As you can see, I have the shutter version of the creep. The Funko Pop shutter version of the creep. Creep Show DVD. Creep Show soundtrack. Creep Show comic books. Fluffy's head. And a fully signed Creep Show laser disc behind him. But yeah. And the creep is going to go right on top of the DVD. That's just some of my collectibles. I actually used to own uh, Fluffy's Left Claw, but uh, that's no longer in my collection. Uh, yeah. So, let me show you the backdrop. You have the ticket window. That's neat. Let's just it down. So, go ahead and pull these pieces off. And we'll get to it. We'll start with smaller accessories first. You have a candle. I should have lit a candle for the video. I should have. I didn't, but I should have. Oh, we got a candle. Pumpkin, jack o' lantern. Let's uh, see if the top comes off. It does. So it's not Halloween anymore, and our jack o' lantern got chucked out in the woods. That's neat. You remember that from the beginning of the movie of sitting in the window of Billy's house? A mini creep show comic book, which is cool. Shows the other issues on the back. See if there's anything on the inside. Yes. Yes. There's a uh, little clip. Oh, they're creeping up on you. That's pretty cool. It's a nifty little addition. All right, he's got several heads here. So here is the uh, poster head from the, uh, like, yeah, just the, uh, the one sheet from theatrical release. 
Here you have the creep when he was uh, in live form standing outside of Billy's window or floating outside. Uh, fun little facts. One reason why we're calling this discussions. The, uh, the animatronic body that they used in Creepshow, it was actually a real cadaver. Um, the name was given Raul because I believe that was the person's name that whose body it was. Uh, Savini purchased that and was able to um, dress it up nicely with you know different pieces of prosthetics and animatronics along with Rice Krispies to give a decaying effect. Piece of plastic under the cloak, I guess to hold it out some. And there's the creep with another head. Um, this creep does have legs. Uh, Raul did not have legs. I don't want to use this head though, even though it's cool. I want to use the window head. It's kind of creepy too, because I'm sitting right next to a window. When I was a kid, that used to freak me the hell out. I'd be like, so my bed was right next to the window, and uh, I remember watching Creep Show, and I'm sitting in the bed. I was afraid to go downstairs too, because under we had a little cubby underneath the stairwell. And I'm like looking to see if there's a crate or anything, you know, kind of freaky. But, but uh, yeah, the window stuff used to just, you know, totally geek me out. Um, so the cloak, it has wires in it, so you can kind of pose it the way you want. Not tons of wires, but there's, there's a, there's a few. There's some in the hood, there's some in this hanging piece, and there's one running down in the, uh, the dressing a bit. I'm not trying to get into it, but you see he's fully, almost skeletonized from head to toe. So, uh, the arms come out, you know, at the elbows, hands turn, hands really creepy too, if you can see them good. Yeah, this is the head I want to give him, if I have him sitting there holding his hand up, maybe put the comic in this hand. So, he may not stand on his own, but I do have NECA stands, so if I need one, I can stand him. He stands a little bit. I don't want to lean him too far forward. So, I think a dynamic stand might be better, so he can actually like, kind of be floating. Look out a bit. The wire that's in it kind of sucks, so it doesn't want to, you know, stay up that well. If I can get the rest of them to kind of look like it may be like flailing in the wind a little bit, that would be cool. All right, so I grabbed the dynamic stand. I'm going to put them on this. That way he can look like he's uh, kind of floating a bit. I can put the legs back on. Punch him on that. Put the comic back in his hand. And there we go. That's all I'm going to display my creep. Get the arm out a little more. Back them up a bit. And, uh, put the accessories in the shot. Candle, pumpkin, and both heads. Now, both heads are cool, but I, I prefer that one. I definitely prefer that one. You know, sort of to go with this shot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw his candle in his hand because he can actually hold it. That's cool. I'll keep him up. I'll display him like that. I'll put the pumpkin away and everything. 
Uh, I just noticed on this head right here is a jaw moves. So you can have it open or closed. That's cool. But yeah, um, but yeah, Creepshow was released in 1982, you know, directed by George Romero, written by Stephen King. Uh, it was the first horror movie I saw, as I mentioned before. Um, I, sat, I was sat down to a creature feature, which was Swamp Thing, Creepshow, and then Reanimator, which I didn't care for, and I still want to this day. But Creepshow, I fell in love with. I've uh, been in love with it since. Um, just my favorite horror movie of all time. I love the segments. Creepshow 2 came out, I was a little disappointed. Creepshow 3 came out, I was really disappointed. Uh, Creepshow the series came out, and that brought back so much of the, uh, of what you were expecting, you know, from a horror comic brought to life. Um, you know, shout out to Greg Nicotero for doing a great job on that. You know, he did an awesome job on that. And, uh, yeah, just, I can't wait for the next season. So I'm really looking forward to all that. Um, overall, this is a, it's a great figure. He was my top, one of my top 10. I think he was my number 10. Uh, he's staying there for 2022. Even now, I know I have him open now. He might have moved up a little bit in my 2022 list, but um, I'm happy where he's at, and uh, it's it's definitely worth it. It's just the, the figure it brought back so much nostalgia and memories, and actually have it physically in you know a figure form. You know, it's like I really commend Necro for you know going out and doing that. That was an awesome job. Now they just need to come out with a a fluffy with a crate. So make it happen. You can make some uh, some body part accessories, you know, a couple different heads. If you slip. But yeah, so um, that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, don't forget to follow us on social media. Check out the bottom of the screen. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.